Tonight's big story, new modelling reveals climate change is set to change the size and direction of waves around New Zealand. The changes have big implications for surfers, of course, but also raise serious concerns about coastal erosion. Our west coast beaches are known for their big breaks. It's spectacular. The west coast is always big, heavy, rough waves. And those waves could get even gnarlier. New modelling shows between 2026 and 2045, wave heights on the South Island's west coast could increase by 5%. And by the end of the century, waves along the entire west coast could be 10% bigger. But waves on the east coast could decrease by 20%. These changes, they, they definitely can influence the sediment transport around the beaches and causing, uh, eventually leading to beach erosion, higher rates of erosion al along the west. Climate scientist Richard Levy says the west coast is gravely underprepared for that. We've designed our coastal defences for today, for today's conditions, but climate change will affect or shift those conditions. So there are parts of the country where we are going to have to shift or change our defences. To prepare for big changes on the horizon for both of our coasts. Well, let's break this down a wee bit further with Professor Giovanni Coco, who led this study. Hi there, Giovanni. Thanks very much for coming on with us tonight. What were the standouts for you in this report? Well, the thing that strikes me the most in these uh, results is the incredible variability that we see around New Zealand. We know that uh, the wave climate around New Zealand is very different between, for example, the West and the East Coast, but we didn't expect to see such clear differences in the changes in the wave climate. In terms of, uh, for example, in space, uh, uh, the South Island, the West Coast of the South Island will experience uh, an increase in uh, in wave height on average, while the east coast of the North Island will experience a decrease in wave height. Uh, I didn't expect that, and I didn't expect also that the difference is also in time, uh, almost seasonal. Summers will see slightly smaller waves, spring will definitely see slightly bigger waves. Uh, the New Zealand wave climate is really quite complicated, uh, really fun to study. There was also talk about change in the direction of the waves. What is that about in simple terms, if you can explain it? Yeah, that's a very good point, because when we speak about waves, we always think of wave height, but other characteristics of waves are important. For example, the wave angle, the way waves approach the beach. Uh, and we notice that particularly on the east coast of uh, the south I of the south and the north island of New Zealand, uh, there will be changes in the way the angle approaches the shore. This means that also the, the currents that are induced by the waves will change. And these currents flow along the coast and transport a lot of sediment. So uh, we expect changes there and we are going to study how this change will affect coastal erosion, for example. Yeah, so we're still waiting for some of those results, are you, in terms of the impact it's going to have for those coastal communities? Because, of course, the assumption was, uh, well, for some people, that erosion is just happening everywhere, but that's not quite the case, is it? Well, no, no, not exactly like that. I mean, the impact on planning really does not change much. Flooding and erosion will remain a problem for the whole of New Zealand, east coast of the North Island, west coast of the South Island. Erosion and flooding will remain a big problem. Uh, waves are, in fact, just one piece of a much more complicated puzzle that involves sea level rise, tides, storm surge. And so there are studies that are looking at developing projections also for those processes. And now we we have all those all the pieces of the puzzle, and now we can begin to study uh, all around New Zealand flooding and erosion. What to expect? And the first results that we have seen in this sense are really not good. And I mean, um, also on the east coast of the North Island, we definitely expect more erosion and more flooding. OK, Giovanni, thank you very much for taking the time to explain all of that to us tonight. Thank you. Bye.